This is the darting duel that everybody has been waiting to see. Oh, it is sorry. much must watch and probably must win for both, for both players. Wonderful. More on the whys and wherefores in a moment, but first of all, Abby, it's a game that we've just been dying to see and finally it has arrived with the players in the battle for that second spot at Ali Pali going head to head in a final. Yeah, this is the one we have all been waiting for. All eyes have been on these two players since we arrived in Wigan 100. on Saturday morning. Of course, Fallon Sherrick currently sat second in the Women's Series Order of Merit in prime position to qualify for 96. the World Championship. But Bo Greaves, having won the last six Women's Series events, a record-breaking six victories for her in women's series events 60. is breathing heavily down her neck coming into this one plenty of different connotations to discuss regardless of what the outcome is in this one but it's also interesting to see how both players approach it we know they've got very different approaches very different mindsets fallon sherrick deals with pressure admirably and Bo Reeves staves off pressure Admirably believes that she just plays for fun, enjoys herself out on that board. But this is 57. a great start from both to start what should be an incredible encounter. And that's why they're both here. That that attitude, that fighting 45 under pressure from Fallon, saw her beat Lisa Ashton with a brilliant display in the semi-finals and has seen Greaves carry on where she left off yesterday and the event before that and the event before that and the event before that and the one before that one as well 98 yeah and of course a lot has been made of Bo winning those four events in 60. Hildesheim Fallon Sherrick of course not in Germany because she was playing on the World Series but Game Plenty shot. of attention on both of these coming into this one, and it's first blood to Bo Greaves pinning double seven to take the opening leg. And we mentioned the different connotations and how things could look heading into our final oh, women's six. series event of the year. Murph, you've been looking into that. We both have in between the semi finals and the final. There's certainly more at stake heading into 100. the final event for Bo Greaves if she is to go on and win this one. Yeah, of course, Fallon missed four events we know that but Bo Greaves missed the first 12 didn't she before deciding 43. to come and give it a go now if she does win this title she will move on to £7,000 she will go ahead she'll be in second spot ahead One of Fallon Sherrick going into the last event by just £250 if Fallon Sherrick wins however she will stay where she is in second, but put £650 between her and Bo. And by my maths, that means that Fallon would then only need to reach the semi-finals, whatever Bo does in the next event. Yes, if because reaching the semi-finals, you get £400. Sorry for that, Murph. But you get £400 for reaching that stage. So that should be enough if Fallon is to go on and win this. Yeah, for those who want the blockbuster ending... As we look at a blockbuster finish here for Bo Greaves, the bullseye to end 96. the leg. Yeah, that can only happen at a final shootout if Bo wins this match, a final shootout in the second event. But Fallon Sherrick can level the match on tops. Game shot. And she does just that clinical from Fallon to level things at one apiece in this match. And very interestingly, when we've been watching both throughout the course of today's action and yesterday's there have been large crowds 45. when she's played on the outside boards haven't there i can confirm there is an incredibly large crowd surrounding one of the screens because of course they are on the streaming board for this 58. match plenty of interest yeah and it's predominantly made up of players who are actually preparing for a tournament themselves there's a few that are practicing but i would say a majority of people in the room have gathered round the screen viewing area and there is a real hush descended on the arena as well they are played behind closed doors in quiet environments but when there is you know 200 or so people in a building when you think of the players and the guests etc there's usually a bit of background noise it's almost silent out there 
It is indeed. And of course, whilst we're focused on that race for World Championship qualification, of course, this could hey, end up being one of the standout battles in women's darts going forward over the next few years. So 96. this, without a doubt, their biggest encounter. It's currently 6-3 in the head-to-head -head in Beau Greaves' favour. Interestingly, all nine of those meetings have come in finals. Mm. 43. Yeah, they may have met really early in stages of events years Game ago shot. when Greaves was younger and they don't always get logged in the WDF system, the very early stages of events. But another final and this final in the early stages is led by Bo Greaves at 180 in that previous leg and look we're only three legs in but Bo Greaves is averaging more than 106 140 yeah remarkable we questioned how they deal with being in this environment, probably Bo more than Fallon, I think it's fair to say, because as we mentioned at the start, we know how Fallon deals with these high pressured environments, but Bo, as expected, taking it all in her stride. 95. Yeah, there is a, a focus. It's become expected of, of Fallon, but when Bo's at the hockey, she does, you know, keep her concentration well. And she's got her wits about her here. Switching down to the 19s there was the right thing to do. It hasn't come off on that occasion, but had she found one treble, she would have been on a finish first against the darts in this fourth leg. Yeah, regardless of what happens, Bo is someone who's very open about how she feels out on the dartboard, so it'll be interesting to catch up with her after this one to see how she found this final great fighting there though by Fallon I mean Bo's outperforming her in the scoring in this match but hitting a 140 at the right time to leave top and then nailing the double 10 with Bo on her shoulder on 68 just showcases exactly what we've been talking about Bo Greaves will probably boss the scoring in this game but Fallon Sherrick her big factor on the tungsten top trumps card is that she does have that skill, that priceless skill of getting the right thing at the right time. As proven right there with that 180. We saw it in the semi-final against Lisa Ashton, didn't we? At one point, it looked like the Lancashire Rose was going to race away with that semi-final. She was 3-1 up in that and Fallon, well, she couldn't find a treble one for a large period of that match, but no sooner had she gone 3-1 down, she responded with a 180 to kickstart the next leg and, and really motored one from there. And there's Bo Greaves piling in a max as well. What a superb standard we are seeing from these two. And even that shot there, finding a, a big one 121. and then correcting it with a couple of treble 20s. This is superb, sensational. Fallon can break 57. here and put the game in her favour. 180, 100, 121, 100 remaining. Is it tops, tops? 60. Bo Greaves then to take the lead once more. Game double shot. eight the target and double eight is pinned. We're not really seeing Bo Greaves falter as she approaches the finishing line. Two legs from victory, her seventh successive, 58. it would be if she is to be victorious. Averaging 106 after five legs of darts. Really, really incredible. 57. Well, I, I think that's really, really incredible. He's understating it. Falter, she could be about to post the highest ever average on the women's series in the most important match we've potentially ever seen on it. Yeah, and very interestingly, the highest winning average in a final was from Fallon Sherrick in 2021, and that was 102.95 in a 5-0 victory over Mikuru Suzuki. So she's well on course to better that one at the moment. 98. Yeah, the the best average overall at the women's series, 104.32 from Lisa Ashton. That was a quarter final last year against Dieter Hedman. Sherrick, 
the only other player so far to have posted a three-figure average. Bogries has come close today. But what a time to peak. One hundred and there's no guarantee she'll win the match. That was interesting from Fallon Cherrick there. A one eighty, leaving twenty five. She backed herself with two darts at double Game effectively shot. by doing that, and she's proven to be right. Indeed. I don't think I have ever experienced at the Women's Series such a hush across oh, the place. Seven. It is incredible the amount of players who are currently glued to the screen watching this one. And credit, full credit to Fallon Sherrick. We came into this weekend, the pressure was piled on her. We were talking about how she'd underperformed at the World Series events, 96. not really given a true account of herself, but... And that extended into yesterday, so the pressure that she must have felt today to do what she's done, not just getting to the final, not just playing like this in the final, but also beating Lisa Ashton in the semi-final, because she doesn't have a great record against Lisa. 60. And she lost in the semi-final to her yesterday as well. Now she's making a move, all on throw so far, but the break could be coming here. 100. Yeah, really solid from Fallon Sherrick to leave 81 after 100. nine. It was only a big one for eight left by Bo Greaves. It's advantage Sherrick, 16. She's missed a big number. She doesn't get a dart at the ball. She will hope to be back, but 41. Bo Greaves is more than capable of cleaning, cleaning up a shot like this. And look how intently Bo Greaves was looking at what Fallon had done. Look at this from Bo Greaves. Game Absolutely shot. sensational from Bo Greaves. And I'm not sure whether you can hear, but there was a bit of a roar from those onlookers watching on the big screen. Of course, she took out a 158 to win the first event yesterday. What a superb 40. 148 there. I'm yeah. running out of words. I do have to say, I think that roar is wrong. I yeah, don't I think the crowd, the, the, the audience, uh, they're meant to stay silent when the players are playing. And I don't think that is fair on Fallon Sherrick. People should be following the rules and restoring order at these Pro Tour events. And, yeah, maybe they were unable to contain 42. themselves. But uh, that's disappointing because it was such a brilliant moment from Bo Greaves. Yeah, and the screen is right next to the streaming board as well so we could hear it from the commentary position there is no way fallon won't have heard that either so as you said it is disappointing and an extra element that she's now got to contend with yeah and the look now she's it's disappointing bo's shot was absolutely sensational you know fallon sherrick had played a great leg of darts she'd missed a big number that was the mistake that happened didn't get a dart a ball and was punished with an absolutely extraordinary 148 at that time in the match it's been a fabulous match let's not let that take away from it bo greaves could 43. be on the brink of doing it and could be on the brink of doing it with a record-breaking average Game and she and has match. done Bo just Greaves. that, finishing it off with that 81, right a 13 far. dart leg in there as well, then a 148 out shot when she was really up against it from Fallon Sherrick. A sublime 107.86 average, a record breaking average from Bo Greaves in that final. There is just no stopping her, and it is seventh heaven for Bo Greaves.